You're you're a fan of Fireball, right? I I'm a fan of Fireball because I have fond memories of it from a wonderful vacation I had this summer with some girlfriends, and uh, we had a little Fireball on that trip. Ever since then, I just can't move past it. I, uh, yeah. I mean, I think all uh, we've tasted, as you said, a lot of the cinnamons, and I think. Most of them are really, really good, but there's something about the Fireball that tastes exactly like those little red hot candies yeah. that I just can't get past. So it's yeah. my it's my fave. Well, yeah. you know, when we did that tasting, there were several that people really liked. Jim Beam, which has Kentucky Fire, which is a bourbon, their bourbon with cinnamon in it, got pretty high marks from a lot of people because some of the bourbon tasters thought um, it tasted the most like bourbon with cinnamon. It does have more bourbon, I think, than some of the others. Right, as opposed to cinnamon with bourbon in it, which is what some of the others taste like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heavy on the cinnamon, it. yes. And wild turkey spiced is interesting uh, because it is not nearly as sweet as some of the others. Mm -hmm. So if, if you feel like when you drink Fireball or some of the other cinnamons that they're too sweet for you, spiced might be a, a direction to to try because mm -hmm. uh, it is spicier rather than really, really sweet. And the one that we got later that we didn't have our original taste was the American mm -hmm. Honey Sting, which is another uh, wild turkey. Another right? wild turkey mm -hmm. And it uses uh, ghost pepper to give it a kick. Ooh. It doesn't actually uh, say it's a cinnamon, but it feels like a cinnamon in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. And I got to try the St. Elmo's Fire recently, and that is really pretty tasty stuff. I mm -hmm. recommend that. If you're looking for a cinnamon that's more of a craft and not so much just a shot, something mm -hmm. that's a little bit different.